Um, so I too sit on the Medicaid reform working group and have spent many, many hours talking about what those reforms could look like uh, in order to get us to expansion. I mean, the goal was always to get us to Medicaid expansion in Ohio. And so we as Democrats have been open to those conversations. We've been participating in the meetings. Uh, and we, you know, now here we're not coming back to October, you know, when we were told originally we would try to get this done by the end of the budget cycle, which obviously didn't happen. And so the frustration just mounts uh, as you work hour after hour, sit meeting after meeting, and hear what a great thing this would be for Ohio, and yet nothing's happening. But in the meantime, we've been on break, and I've been moving around in my district, uh, as my, have my colleagues, and the frustration in my district is significant. Uh, people are asking for meetings. Um, they want to know why we're not getting this done. I just had a meeting last week about this, a big round table discussion about Medicaid expansion, and people simply don't understand. And i be honest with you, I don't have a very good explanation uh, as to why we're not getting this done. And I share their, I told them, I, I, you know, I share their frustration. We've had advocates gathering throughout the state. There, there's a, a a group today, NAMI, is in the atrium today at noon uh, talking about this very issue. They're promoting Medicaid expansion and calling on the General Assembly to, to take some action. And at the same time we hear, we're not even going to be around until October. So it's, it's as if the Republicans continue to be tone deaf on the issue. Uh, they refuse to acknowledge that the vast majority of Ohioans want this. Uh, and, and we're asking them to do something. And beyond that, there are vehicles to get it done. So the, the idea that, oh, we don't have anything before us that would allow us to get to Medicaid expansion is ridiculous. I mean, we have a number of bills, both Democrat, uh, Republican, and bipartisan. We've got the petition uh, to relieve the committee of a bill that you know could move straight to the floor of the House. If only we could gather a few Republicans to make that happen. We've called on Governor Casey to help in that effort um, with the discharge petition. So there are different ways to get this done. And so I think we're here today expressing not only the frustration of you know the General Assembly and those of us that you know, working on the issue, and those of us that, that are simply supportive of Medicaid expansion, but here on behalf of the constituents who have been, you know, calling our offices, asking for meetings, saying that they want something done, and why is we, why are we as a legislature not doing it? So um, I want to express that because it's real. Um, people don't understand it, and it's it's you know, it just added a whole other layer uh, to this conversation. You know, at, kind of at the ground level as we work, you know, through these issues in the state and at the ground level in our district. So um, with that, I'm going to turn it over to Rep. Barbarek. All of us are supportive of expansion, obviously. Um, and uh, Nick has a couple things.